Welcome to the Ghost Key, I am Gray, and today we get to go start on Ice Path. We are finally done with all of that Team Rocket stuff. At least for a while until we get over to whatever the hell it is, Kanto, right? As you can see, it's still night and all that wonderful shit I left without the Kenya. Sorry. Yeah, thanks, thanks a lot, Rain. Making noise. Always make noise when I'm when I'm recording. Anyway, um, so yeah, that's what we've got on the plate for today. As you can see, it's still night outside, which means, hey, I'm recording late again, which is gonna happen for a while. From well, from here on out, pretty much, I'm gonna be end up, be end up, I'm gonna end up recording all the time at night, pretty much. Um, still trying to get some things worked out as far as other shit that I want to do. Just giving you an update. I know I kind of just throw that out there and I talk about it a lot, but I feel like it's something that I kind of got to do just to make sure, you know, whoever is out there watching, you know, is, is aware that we got shit coming up and all that good stuff. Um, I haven't yet, uh, got everything squared away for our next LP. Like I said, I kind of get the feeling I think this is going to end a little early. Um, before Omega Ruby and all that stuff drops. But like I said, I may actually just end up taking a break from stuff and and kind of just doing, oh, hello, and kind of just doing things for a while, um, you know, in the background before I actually start posting videos. I am thinking about doing, like, kind of not really a lecture circuit or anything like that, but I think I might actually sit around and put together some, uh, um, some videos for you guys. Um, concerning uh, just my general ideas of Pokemon and gaming and, and stuff like that kind of just a you know not really like a get to know me thing but more of like a just the the Gray's opinion column if you will I don't know what you want to call it but you know I'm thinking about doing some something like that um, mostly just to play with the editor and honestly get better at it and, and you know play with the toys that I do have it's really for me to you know, I, I learn by, you know, getting in there and, and doing and trying things. I mean, I don't really trial and error per se, but, you know, I, I'm a tactile learner, so I gotta learn by, you know, playing with shit and, and doing it, you know, instead of just reading about it. Which, by the way, I did have my physics class tonight, and oh my god. You know, I, I never realized, like, I'm not gonna lie, I don't, when I get textbooks and stuff, I don't use those damn things unless I actually ha absolutely, absolutely have to. Most of the time, and that's because once again, I'm a tactile learner. Go away, Frodo. I'm a bit of a tactile learner, so I I am a bit of a, you know, it, it doesn't mean much to me if I just read shit, you know? I mean, I, I gotta kind of experience it and, and, and stuff like that. And, you know, just get my hands on it and, and do it myself. And the physics book I had some I had actually had some questions about my homework that I was supposed to do so I sit there and I flip through it and I'm like yeah okay let's use the book the book's a good thing to use right I mean doesn't that make sense go jump into the book and and go ahead and learn how to do all that physics shit now all this is a bunch of fucking paragraphs they've got like the formulas in there and a bunch of fucking paragraphs no examples the only examples in the book are the word problems that we have to do for homework at the back of the chapter so fucking pointless is what I'm saying I mean really it is it, it kind of irritates me at least in Pokemon you know a lot of people bitch that this is kind of where I was going with this by the way a lot of people bitch that in Pokemon you know you get so tired of all that intro stuff and I know I've said stuff like that before where you you know let's just see if yeah at least the function where you turn it off but at least they go through step by step here's what you fucking do you know I know it's meant for freaking four-year-olds and shit, but at least they do that. I gotta give them credit for at least laying it out, you know, step for step in front of you. So you have at least a reference point of what the hell you're supposed to do to capture a Pokemon. Now, obviously, there's a fine art, and a lot of Pokemon are better at catching other Pokemon than others, but, you know, that's neither that's neither here nor there. But anyway, um, and that's actually one of the subjects that I kind of want to get on if I do, like, like a you know, like I said, not really like a bunch of lecture videos, but just like in a bunch of opinion videos, and and like I said, and play away, play play away. Wow, wow, cannot cannot speak today. My my mind is just gone. It really is. It really is right now. 
but like I said, you know, just kind of, you know, jump into those things and kind of explain myself. Because I try, like, because when I play stuff like this, I want to sit here and tell you why I don't really care for Nuzlocke's all that much. But, you know, at the same time, I feel like when I when I start doing shit like that, that I kind of get away from, from playing the game. Which I am doing right now, because I'm really just, you know, I, I, I'm really just rambling here while I... While I, you know, battle these guys in a Rhyhorn, I really wish I had some plan for this guy. I was talking about, um, I have mentioned this before, but my, my girlfriend started playing uh, Pokemon Ash Gray, if you haven't played that. And that's a cute little, uh, little ROM hack that, um, that, that covers literally all the events that happened in the show. I mean, we're talking stealing Misty's bike and all that good shit. I've seen people LP it before. Um, and if you're into something like that, then by all means go right ahead. It's a pretty cool, pretty cool little, uh, little, whatever you want to call it, little ROM hack. But, um, my girlfriend was playing that the other day, and, um, I had to fight Brock, and I, I, I don't like how they put, um, Rock-type Pokemon so early in, in generations, or er, so early in the gyms. I know, I know I've mentioned something like that. Oh, is that, oh, that was there. I was wondering if there's something special. I know I've mentioned that before. You know, and it's just, I don't know. I felt like it, you know, needed to be mentioning it. Because, like, Rock-type Pokemon, it's kind of, it's kind of weird because Rock-type Pokemon really have good stats. They have really good physical a a a attack and defense. Uh, I couldn't even spit that out there for a second. They have really good physical attack and defense, usually. You know, and some of them have some halfway decent stats in other areas to, to help complement that. But, um... And yeah, it it's unfortunate though because most first stage rock types, or only have that defense part. You know, most of them don't get that attack until a little bit later, which is really unfortunate because there's a, like I said a lot of really good. Ooh, damn, I got nothing for this for this for this guy coming up here. Hmm. We'll go with the cray cray and see if this Magnemite nukes us or not. Well, let's just see. Oh, not. But um. You know, it, it it is unfortunate because I think I think rock types. There's a lot of really good rock types, and rock types can be scary. You know, to to fight against. I mean, like Rhyhorn, Rhyperior, you know, shit like that. You know, I mean, I wish they'd saved some of those those gym leaders till a little bit later. Like we had the one that was really laughable in in Gen Six, and I'll uh, use a metal sound. God damn! A little fucking shit. Man, it's paralyzed. Of course, it's paralyzed and it can't move. They're never perilous, but we are. At least it's fucking supersonic nice thing. Take this rock smash and get out of here. We just leveled the cray cray. But um yeah, I really wish really wish they had more later rock type. I know they've used rock type a few for um for uh, elite four members. And it is usually one of those things you can kinda get around because most often I think somebody has a plant or at least a water, you know, in their groups and stuff like that. Ew. You look strong. Good trainers. Yeah. Sorry, I, I know I'm kind of taking up a lot of time and going through here and, and and taking these guys out, but it needs to be. It needs to be done. We are going to need um, as much leveling as possible because, like, when we're done with, um, oh, it has static. Hmm. Hmm. Well, I think we're going to have to... We're not gonna get out of this any other way other than taking the static, I think. If he gets it on us. Yep. Of course. Right? Of course. Never, never fails. Always gets stuck. He's got Blossom. Well, what have we got for the Blossom? We have this little cutie here called Ellie. She's gonna, she's gonna give this guy something to think about here. Yeah, <laughs> it's cute. It's cute. And take that wing attack, get out of here. They don't, they don't like you anyway. But anyhow, um... Yeah, I don't really remember where I was talking about Rock-type Pokemon. But, anyhow. We are... We, I think that clears... I think that's everybody out here. Oh, maybe somebody on this bridge, yeah. Do we have... nope. I don't have any... We'll heal, we'll take that guy out on the bridge, and we should be alright to go into the ice cave itself. 
But we're gonna need all of the leveling that we can get out here. I think that's what I was saying earlier. Sorry, I'm kind of all over the place. I know, like, it, it's kind of, you've probably noticed by now, like, every time, like, I do the first episode of the night, or something, or when I sit down and do that first episode, it takes me a little bit to get going, usually. To get kind of in the groove and actually, you know, have worthwhile commentary. I apologize for that. You know, I am new at this shit, after all, but... We're trying, at least, and yada, yada, yada. But anyhow, um, yeah, we need to take these guys out, and then we'll head into the cave. And then that might be it for this episode, but we need we need, we need all the leveling we can get. And in case you've never played this generation, which I'm sure everyone has, which is probably why, you know, not a lot of people are watching the channel right now, is because, I mean, this is a pretty common thing for people that will be, mostly because, I think, because it's long, and, you know, I, I think people enjoy that a little bit more. And enjoy a longer LP just for the simple fact that it's a Pokemon one and most of the time especially if people use the speed up button and, and shit like that it goes really really quick you know I mean I've seen some I've seen some generations get over in like or some Pokemon games get over in like 15 16 episodes before so I think that's why this one tends to be one of the ones that's not really more popular in terms of views but more popular in terms of content because it takes a long a little bit longer and I think people kind of like it a little bit more than than seeing somebody fly through an LP in, you know, 15 episodes, which I don't really care for myself, I'll, I'll, I'll be honest there. I, I like a longer one, and that's also why I try to keep the episodes a little shorter. Just a little shorter so that you can kind of stretch out. I know a lot that kind of is, is irritating. I, I know the flip side of, like, both sides of that coin. I really do. I, I understand, like... You sit down and you're like, well, shit, it was only 10 minutes. I wanted a little bit longer episode. But I also understand, you know, when you're busy, you know, sometimes those little 10, 15 minute episodes are a lot easier to sit through than, ooh, we got more people up here, than a episode that's, you know, 30, 40 minutes long. So I try to keep them, I try to keep them 10 to 15. I think 15 is respectable. I mean, it's a little bit longer than just, you know, 10, 11 minutes and, 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 um, and yet at the same time, it's it's not super long. Because it feels like you feel a little bit more satisfied. It's kind of like a Snickers bar, you know what I mean? Like you eat those little bite-sized ones, and you're like, oh shit, man, that was it. And then you eat like one of the long ones, you're like, you know, the normal size ones, not the king size ones. Long ones, yeah, you can take that however you want. <laughs> and and you're like, hey, that was that was about right. It's about the right proportion that I wanted. Ooh, Pidgeotto. What do we want to do about that? We think we're just gonna keep battling. Probably should should be should be training the cray cray, but right now wreckage is just handling shit. So I mean, we're just gonna have to roll with it. Like I said, we're gonna need as much. I keep tr trying to complete this thought, and I apologize for not completing it. But we are gonna need as much as much leveling as possible because once you're done with like Blackthorn Gym, I think you're like. 40, 45, something like that, and then, and then you gotta get up to about 45, or I think it's 50 or something like that for the Elite Four. I wanna say it's 50. It's kind of a big gap because most of what you fight out in the wild is like level 28s and stuff, so it's kind of, it's kind of tough leveling up. And also one, one of the things is like when you get into, um, um, whatever the hell it is, Victory Road, there aren't a lot of Pokemon that give you a ton of experience. I mean, we're talking like you're, like, I think, if I remember right, you're battling stuff like, well, that would be the experience equivalent of, like, a level 30 Zubat. It's not very much because it's a much lower Pokemon, or a much, you know, that's a first stage Pokemon and therefore doesn't yield as much experience, which is very, which makes saving, or saving, haha. <laughs> uh, it's just one of those nights. Can you tell? Can you tell? But it makes leveling that much easy, that much harder when you really can't get those big things like an Audinel. That's why people went hunting for Audinels and stuff because they gave such a boatload of experience when you killed them. But anyhow, that that does it for this episode. Um, if you've been at this far on YouTube, thanks a lot for watching. And remember, the ghost key is the only place where pants are optional.